In the last video, we play with some geometry using the new modeling tools of Unreal 5. What we're trying to create is an office space. Now we're going to add some windows and doors to open this space that we already created. But before making holes in our meshes, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment on my channel. Also, don't forget to join our mailing list on Woolen.com to get our video game related courses with coupons only available to our subscribers. Our next course is about level design, and you will receive a discount code in release week only by subscribing to Woolen.com. Okay, let's start with the door. So, what I want is to add a door in some place around this back of the scene that I created. And for that, I first I'm going to check the in the props that we have several options and we have uh, a frame door. So I'm going to use this one for my scene. So I'm going to put it here, my frame door. As you can see, it's on one side. So I'm going to rotate it. And to rotate, I use the select the rotate, which is the E. I'm going to rotate it, of course, uh, 90 degrees. Okay, here now. Now with end, it's going to be set on the bottom. And now I will push it to the back. So let's say, we'll say some place like this is going to be all right. Let me check on the other side. Yeah, probably I need to move it just a little bit. And now I have it on both sides. Fantastic. But now the what I need is to open the the hole in this door. So how I'm going to do this? This is really a, an easy process. And what I'm going to do is to add a new, using the, uh, I'm sorry, the modeling tool, I am going to add another box. So I'm gonna put, select the box. I'm gonna place the box on this position. Now I'm going to, let's let's expand this, uh, this door, this hole, sorry, uh, just a little bit. So let me click here. And in the height, let me move it to probably 200 is what it's going to cover uh, the entire frame of the door. Yes, I'm going to expand it just a little bit. So let's say 220. I think it's going to be too much. 210. Yes, this is uh, what I'm looking for. In fact, I'm going to put it to 205. Fantastic. And I'm going to make it as well. I don't have to make it so with so much depth. So let's move this maybe to 20, probably. Because what I want is to make it transparent on this section. It, it won't matter at the end. In fact, to make things uh, sure for me, I'm going to put it in 40. Great. And now what I'm going to do is to move this to where I want it to the hole to be. Okay, fantastic. Now I'm going to select the box for the hole that I'm going to create and the wall where I want to the hole to be. And now I will select in the modeling tool, model, boolean. And here you have a different options. As you can see at this moment, they just created a hole for the entire wall. Now, if I change this order, the operation, the Boolean operation, now I can see that here I have the hole on the wall. Let me accept this. And now we have literally the hole that we were looking for. You can see this. This is the back of my house or my office, which is really great. Good, excellent. So we have the, um, the door. Now I'm going to add as well two small uh, windows to this side. I'm going to do it. A oh, similar process, but in this case, I'm going to use the Windows frame. So let me put a Windows frame someplace like here. Probably, I think it's very good where it is. Let me add it a bit more. Excellent. And to the other side is perfect. Perfect as it is. Did it like this. Okay, fantastic. Now, let me... Take more space here and let me rotate this. Fantastic, 90 degrees. Excellent, now I am going to move it just beside this and see if we are covering the entire section. Okay, as you can see, it is a bit bigger. So let me reduce the space. So it's going to be, let's start. This is going to be okay. 
I think that the 100 is the one that is run. Or oh, maybe a bit more, let's say 60. Let's go to 80. Yep, 80 is going to do the job. And now the height, let's say 100. Okay, let me go up. I think 140 is going to be all right. Let me check. Yes, I think it's going to be perfect. Now I'm going to introduce this block. I think it's already done. Yes, it's covering the entire section. I now repeat the process. I'm going to accept, select this box with shift, select the other, and then go to the model, Boolean, and voila, here we have the change. What is interesting about this tool is that once you have the, the two elements positioned, you still can move this hole in the direction that you want. You still can edit it. And this is really, really, really cool. Now I'm going to repeat the same process for another window. So I'm going to take this one and with Alt, I'm going to select another window. Let's put it like around this place, I think. This is going to be all right. And now I will add a new box. Okay, let's move to this one and let's move it in this direction. And now let's go up. I think we're going to have it covered. Yep, definitely we have it covered. And let's introduce in the wall. See if we get to the other side, fantastic. I'm going to accept. And now I'm going to select this one, select the wall. And in model, I will go to Boolean and voila, here we have the last one. And following the, the same exercise that inspired this process for the new modeling tool, I am going to create a section on the ceiling, which is going to be the a skylight. In this process, let me do it uh, backwards. So the first thing I'm going to add is the box. So let me put the box here on the ceiling. Okay, let me rotate this, let me get here, and I'm going to rotate it this way. Make it a bit more clear, fantastic. And now, let me check, uh, probably it's going to be uh, from the top as well. It's not yet on the top, let me move it just a little bit, good. So now I have it on both sides. Let me wait for the light to adjust. And now I can uh, add uh, more of I'm going to say the height, let me get it to 200, for example. And in the depth, I'm going to put it, let's say 200 as well. So let's make a, a big hole. Fantastic. Good. Now I am going to accept this. I'm going to select the, um, the, the ceiling. I'm going to select now the block that we created a moment ago. Going to model Boolean. And of course, I'm going to make it the other way. And here we have another source of light. Now, I want to create some kind of a frame around this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the this same frame we have here because the, the door doesn't have the section on the bottom. So what I will do is let's go to the selection and I'm going to my props. And in props, props I will get the windows. Fantastic. And now let's play with some rotation. Fantastic. And now let's position this something like here. I can go, in fact, from the top and I can play with these values. Right. And now let's let's scale this until we got what we're looking for like here it looks like it is correct I think that we should uh, add it a bit more to aha uh -huh, to here I'm probably moving one just a smidge here and now we have yeah this is skylight it's looking amazing 
I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like, subscribe and a comment on our video. I'm trying to expand my team to create even more content for you. Every action you take means the world. Also, remember that by joining Woolen.com, you will get access to huge discounts in my courses. The next one is about level design, an essential subject in video games creation that you want to know. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.